What's up guys, in this video I want to talk about what is expected to be announced at WWDC which is the Worldwide Developers Conference that Apple is holding. They, ho they hold every year basically in the beginning of summer, well summer for me of course because I get out of school at that time, but um, it's supposed to be held June 10th through the 14th in San Francisco, California which is this coming Monday. Alright, so let's jump right into the news. Now, just recently, Apple revealed that they will be talking about the future of iOS and OS X at the conference, which is, of course, expected to be talked about during the first, like, the opening keynote. Like, that's when the event first starts. Now, a KGI analyst, Ming-Chi Ming -Chi Kuo, predicts that Apple will pr introduce a slimmed-down 13-inch MacBook Retina display, ret MacBook Pro Retina display, excuse me, with a higher-quality FaceTime camera at WWDC. Now he also notes that the 13 inch Retina MacBook Pro will have a thinner chassis as the company pushes towards a more portable form factor for its smallest high end offering. Now the MacBook Pro models are expected to upgrade their FaceTime HD cameras from, 10, I mean, from 720p to 1080p which is basically full HD. Now the MacBook Pro Retina display models are expected to have feature Intel's latest generation Haswell processors which offer more horsepower and lower power consumption which leads to longer battery lives. Now let's go ahead and talk about the MacBook Air. This is just something quick. Now the MacBook Airs are expected to have a dual microphone on the computer which is of course expected to be announced at WWDC. I have some quick breaking news for you. Apple on Tuesday released um, iOS, I mean OS X 10.8.4 with Wi-Fi and Exchange um, improvement. So if you have your computer updated like to 10.8, you might want to update it to 10.8.4 and go ahead and get that, uh, get your computer updated. Now this is basically the, the main thing that everybody wants Apple to talk about is iOS 7 at WWDC 2013. Now a new screenshot claims to show iOS 7 with aspects of a flat design and aesthetic brought by Sir Johnny Ives, but the build doesn't appear to be a massive change on the user interface, which is kind of crazy because I think they need to make it more customizable and I think that's what everybody wants in that well that uses iOS. I know that I'm getting tired of iOS. Like I think it needs to be more customizable like Android is. Now apps in the current iOS, such as Safari, Clock, app, and the App Store, they feature a layer of gloss and a translucent, translucent layer, excuse me, I can barely pronounce that word, and a tr translucent layer over the part of the icon that makes it pop with a three-dimensional look. Now the purported new version of iOS does not have that, and it makes it look completely flat. Now people are also expecting Apple to announce a new Mac Pro which is a desktop computer and it, it hasn't seen an update in years so hopefully Apple will announce a new Mac Pro and will able to be, it will go on sale pretty soon because I know some people that will actually want to buy a updated Mac Pro. But of course that has not been confirmed so don't take my word for that. Let's just hope that they do announce a new Mac Pro. You guys are probably wondering why I haven't talked about the iPhone or the iPads. That I'm going to save for a different video so stay tuned for that and that is not expected to be announced at um, WWDC. They're probably going to announce that at a separate event later on this year. Now if you are a developer, you guys can actually go to the App Store on your iOS device and go type in, in the search bar, type in WWDC. Now Apple has just released this app and you can click on it right there and it can show you the schedule for WWDC each day and um, a map of the building and to show you where everything is on the floors and stuff like that. And it also has the news and videos from this year, which is blank right now. Um, and from all of the years of WWDC and you guys can click on like for this one the first one at the top says keynote I can click on that and watch the keynote from WWDC 2012 now if you click if you go within the app and you click on the news page it says you can use this app for or well, to browse the conference schedule make sure make schedule items as favorites watch session videos available daily keep up with news and get notifications view maps of the Monscone West and provide feedback on session content. So that's what you ba basically can do within the WWDC app. Now, of course, it says you have to log in, like to view the maps. You have to be, um, and you have to be an actual Apple developer. So if you do not have an account, you can't log in. And I'm not actually a developer yet. 
Um, I'm about to become one, but I can't log in and see the map of the, well, the floor plan of the building and see where everything's at. So, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Stay tuned for in another video coming up soon, talking about the next generation iPhone and the, um, the next generation iPad and iPad mini. And stay tuned next week, Monday, for a full recap video of WWDC, the keynote speaking. Um, I don't know when I'm going to post it on Monday. Like what time it's going to be definitely after the keynote of course but probably two three hours after the keynote so stay tuned for that and um i will do i will do I, i'm think i'm still thinking about it if i'm going to do live tweets on um like live coverage of it live coverage of it on twitter uh, most likely I will so just follow me on Twitter at underscore techonomics the link is down below and it's right here up on your screen and yeah just follow me on Facebook Twitter well like me on Facebook follow me on Twitter Instagram and Cinemagram it's all the same at underscore techonomics well Facebook's not but the link is down below if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to click the like button down below that helps me out a ton and I would very much appreciate it and for more videos like this um, unboxings reviews and stuff like that I'm actually I'm gonna be getting a lot of stuff pretty soon because it's summertime so stay tuned for that and to stay tuned make sure you guys click the subscribe button down below all right but that's all I have for you guys let me know you guys opinions down in the description what do you think Apple will announce what do you think they need to announce what do you think they need to do with iOS things like that things of that nature let me know down in the comments I'm, I'm very interested to know your opinion so let me know all right but I'll talk to you in my next video but for now peace I kind of messed that one up so I went piece like this I meant to do one piece all right but yeah peace <laughs>